The train's passing by our bedroom window. It feels like the writing's on the wall. Good evening, everyone. It's been a busy day. I went and I did my first grocery shop for 2024. And I also went, got myself some crystals from Hetty's Rock Shop. And I also got a couple of bracelets. I was drawn to these two, so I grabbed these two. Uh, yeah, it's been, <laughs> it's been a crazy end to the year. I've been just so busy. I am tired and I have booked some days off. On the 16th of January, I'm going to take myself off somewhere. Don't know where yet, but I will let you know. I thought I'd get on here and just let you guys know what I've got planned for 2024 for this channel. I intend to continue with the what I eat in a day, although that will be changing around a little bit because I'm not following any diet this year. Can I stick <laughs> can I stick to that? I hope so. I have done so much soul searching in the last year, more so in the last month, and I've come to realize that I have been dieting for most of my life. When I think back to when I was eight years old, I just think it's crazy. I have not been able to just eat normally since then. So I've decided that I'm going to change the way I think and follow what my body feels like. If it makes some sort of difference, then I will, depending <laughs> if it's not a positive thing, then I'll just put that to the side. If I can, I need to drink a lot more water. I've not drunk any water about three months, I think. As in, what is the word I'm looking for? Consciously drunk water. I need to consciously drink water, not just have cups of coffee and cups of tea. Because I'll have a coffee in the morning, I'll have a coffee at lunchtime. I had two teas tonight so that's four hot drinks I haven't had any water whatsoever today so that needs to be looked at and I need to start doing that I'm going to upload three times a week so I've decided I'm going to upload on a Tuesday a Thursday and a Sunday so those are the three days that I'm going to upload I am going to continue with what I eat in a day, doing a weekly video. And I'm not sure about the third one. The third one may be just a sit down and let's have conversation. We'll see. There will be some cleaning videos in there at some point. I have to sort through the garage and I need to start uploading everything that I'm selling. So that's something that I've got to do is sort through that and my car will probably have to stay out of the garage for a few days while I get things organised and photographed. I also need to get out of the house. I have been a hermit for nearly a year. It is time to get out there and do something. I can't hide away forever and if I'm going to do this big move... I need to be comfortable in my own skin, out in the world here. I know I'm comfortable in my own skin uh, where I'm going, but I need to reinforce it here as well. And I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. Um, there, I need to put myself out there. And it's just embarrassing that for so long I've just hidden myself away and I've worked through so much stuff. Uh, it's incredible. Five years of counselling and 
there is an end in sight. I never ever thought that I would get there. But then that's the thing, when you are a child or a teen and you've been through trauma, and even, you know, in my 20s and 30s, you don't think that it will ever end. And the thing is, it does end. Going through your emotions and working out what they are, how they attach to you, what's attached to the emotion. When things rise up, if you can journal it and sit in it, you actually see how far you've come. And it's not until you start doing that that you realize that the negative things that you were journaling about begin to fade and there's more positive coming in there is like a watershed happening and you realize that you are actually using a jackhammer to get those foundations up and out of there you're turning those old foundations to dust once you have cleared the path you realize that you have these beautiful granite slabs that you can start to put down. And as you put down each one, you realize that they begin to shine. And it's like you're following the light. There is a beacon that's lit inside you. And that beacon becomes brighter and brighter the further you go in this journey. Realizing that this is not my fault. Realizing that there were circumstances that I took on board and allowed those circumstances to cement themselves in my mind created the triggers now, letting those go has been pretty hard, but I've done it. And how I've done it is I stopped watching news on the TV. I don't watch movies that I know are going to hurt my soul. Stories in my head that will create a path that I do not want to go down. I'm very discerning in what I watch on YouTube. I'm very discerning with what I watch on Netflix. And I must admit that I haven't watched much on Netflix in the last few months because a lot of the reality stuff is to draw the audience. And I sometimes think, I don't think people are that stupid. But then when I hear others talking about certain shows and the way that they get quite hit up about them, I'm thinking to myself, hang on, that's not real life. Um, they may be reality shows, but it's not really reality. It's little strips of stories that have been stuck together to create drama um yeah and i feel sorry for some that get caught up in that that's pretty much where i'm coming from this year i've got another few months before i have a big life change i am really excited i really am I don't know where I'm going, I don't know what is ahead of me, but I feel free. I feel like whatever is out there, I'm being divinely led and I'm just looking forward to exploring adventure. All the things I wanted to do when I was 18 years old and yeah, I may be older, but that child inside me is just, she's wide awake and she's rearing to go. She wants to experience life and she's going to dance. She's going to 
yeah, I can see her. My little girl is running down the road in her gumboots. Then she stops all of a sudden. She looks all around her and she pulls out of her pocket pink ballet slippers. She puts those ballet slippers on her feet and she starts to dance. As she pirouettes and dances her way down the street, her arms flying, she's just lost in the music in her head. And she is laughing, she is full of joy, and she, she just feels so free. Then she stops, notices someone else is coming down the road, so she quickly takes off her ballet slippers, stuffs them back in her pocket, and puts her gumboots back on, and heads for the school gate. My little girl is ready for adventure, and she's ready to dance up a storm. So on that note, I hope you will join me for the coming adventures. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share if there's someone out there who may benefit from this crazy life of mine. And I will see you in my next video. Take care everyone. Bye. You try your best to reassure me But lately I don't believe you at all